on our uh, on our last equation that we did, we wanted to find the area under the curve of two minus the absolute value. Remember to get the absolute value, you have to hit second catalog. ABS stands for absolute value um, of X. And so when you graph it, you'll get you'll get uh, a graph like that. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see it a little more clearly. So this is our graph. Now we're asked to evaluate or find the area under the curve from uh, negative one to positive one. Now you could do that pretty easily on your calculator, uh, but it doesn't show you all the steps. By hitting second and then right above trace, see where it says calc? If I hit that, there is the integration symbol. And so we want to find the uh, integral of uh, f of x. So we hit enter. It asks us our lower limit. We would enter in negative 1 because that was our boundary, our lower boundary. Then it asks for the upper limit, and we would enter in positive 1. And then your calculator just kind of goes through and finds the area under the curve. Now this is an approximate value. Basically, it, it, it uh, it's a computer program. So sometimes, uh, don't be surprised if the answer that you come up with is 3 and the calculator spits out an area under the curve of like 2.999 or something like that. Um, let's do one more just for a uh, good measure. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to change my equation. This time I'm going to do uh, x squared um, plus 3. And so I can get some good area under the curve. Let's make that negative x. So now when I graph that, I'm going to get uh, a graph something like this, actually, so it'll fit. Let me change the number to 2 because I don't want to. Whoa, that's not it. No. Zero. I'm not having the best of luck there, am I? Uh, delete. All right, there we go. So now, same thing, but now let's say I want to find the area under the curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say second. Uh, trace button, but see how it says calc. I'm going to come down and you can choose number 7. And now let's do like uh, negative 0.5. Okay, for my lower limit. Whoops. Man, this thing's sensitive. Let's try that again. Second calc. Oops, second. Oh, you know why? Because I'm still hooked up to the smart board. The wind is blowing the smart board or something. I don't know. Uh, oh, well, let's just do point two to some crazy number. Whoa. What is going on? <laughs> Second calc. All right. Let's try this again. Second calc. I'm going to walk over to the smart board and do this. Aha. I just I just unplugged my smart board. Um now if <laughs> Clear, clearly it is not the smart board, it is me. The not so smart math teacher. Alright, we'll try this. Come on! Okay, lower limit. I'm going to pick a simple number, zero. Uh, and then we'll do one. And then, so it's uh, here. It's going to be one and two thirds is the area under the curve. Okay. Any questions on that? 